you can see I didn't sleep much, but whatever. I just watched the first season of Game of Thrones and I just want to say, what the heck? What the heck? Or holy shit. So yeah, but I'm not going to talk more about that and especially because I need to go to work now. And oh my head, seriously. I need vacation. Or better makeup. Yeah. Talk to you later, Wolf. Yeah, that was my introduction to the Owls Magical Ridderton Vlog 3. Hello, Wolves. So, I'm not gonna talk about Game of Thrones, don't worry. Uh, it was freaking good, but okay, never mind. I'm not gonna talk about it here because it could be annoying, blah blah blah. But I just need to say that it was a nice first episode, like it was a good introduction to season eight. That's all I'm gonna say. So, yeah, I will still be hyped because it's gonna be like there's gonna be a new episode every single Monday, but I'm not gonna talk about it, so don't worry, no spoilers. So, oh my head, so if I'm weird or my eyes are doing weird things, that's because my head is actually killing me. So, yesterday I actually started a book, it's in my book sleeve, beautiful one that I got in uh, my Illumicrate, right? I think, yes, it was the special edition, like with Grisha Burr special edition, my head is cut, okay. Okay, does it look better now? Yeah, my head is not cut in half. <laughs> but yeah, so I started, obviously, I started that book, so The Raven Tower by Anne Lecky. I'm currently on page 100, so here. Um, I'm confused. I don't know if I'm liking it, I don't know if I'm hating it. Like, first, there are no chapters in that book you can just see at some point like a raven you know separating some paragraphs so i guess it's like a chapter that's where i stop reading actually and i'm confused i i, I don't know if it's because english is not my first language but i'm oh my gosh that's so weird i, I don't know if i'm confused because i actually don't understand what's going on like i i think i i understand a bit like i don't know and especially because like it's told from the second person perspective and it keeps saying you 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 and i feel like that person is actually talking to me because it's saying you you know what i mean or because like talking to me like obviously he's not but he, is he talking to the person and telling him you blah blah you blah blah because that person actually forgot everything or just because that person is actually talking to himself and then he say you because I don't know I'm so confused I think this is the first time I'm reading a book in the second person perspective I think don't quote me on that but I'm completely lost and I'm not sure I, I am understanding the story so far. I'm not like hitting it, so I'm not gonna DNF it, but it's so weird, but it's well written. So that's weird. So far, I've read about quotes, being on Earth and seeing humans acting, you know, having a normal life. But it was way back then. It's kind of nowadays, but not nowadays, like, the humans can talk, the humans can use like forks, blah blah blah, you know what I mean? And they can like they can talk, so the gods kinda learned to talk as well. And there is one god who doesn't travel much, so he doesn't see as much as the other gods. And obviously the humans they are kinda praying and offering stuff to the gods in order to get something in exchange, like health or good weather or blah 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 and that actually works but apparently something happened between the gods and someone flew away and that unbalanced the totality of the system and now they're trying to help the true hair to come back or the true hair actually escaped so the guy has to claim another hair 
but that's not gonna happen i mean it's kind of complicated like i think the you thing is really i don't know i'm so confused i, I i'm so confused like like at the very beginning of the book it's like yes my lord you said voice tense despite the despite the middleness of your tone yes my lord you replied again still tense you rode the rest of the way to pasta in silence and i'm confused because the you is actually not a god like the guy he's a servant kind of thing and he's gonna try so eolo is gonna try to help his master gain the throne again or so yeah eolo is gonna help the hair to get back his city kind of thing or his throne whatever but he's gonna also discover some secrets what's interesting is that the gods they're like human but they're not like overpowered like they're gonna do whatever they want they have rules and they're actually kind of following the rules except for a few of them actually i think like in every single story so it's really interesting it's intriguing but i'm confused like the you thing really bothers me and the fact that there is no chapters as well so that's probably why i'm not gonna dnf it because it's not bad it's just confusing but not especially confusing in a bad way when you just don't want to pick up the book because you're like i'm not gonna understand anything i'm not gonna have fun i'm not gonna like what i'm reading that's not that it's very confusing but in a good way but also in a very confusing way if that makes any sense i don't think so but i'm gonna stop to talk about that book because i actually started another one as well so this is actually the last book i need to pass in order to go further in my curse breaker education um so this so this is the sixth book in my priority book list then i picked another one and the reason why i picked that one is because i found the um audiobook on script so i started it the i started the audiobook and this is lifelike by jay christoph i'm on page 100 almost 100 97 so here i've read part one and so far so good i'm really enjoying it i missed sci-fi and yeah so it's the story of eve she has a cyborg for a dog and she does that competition like uh how do you call that killing competition no that's not the word like she uses robot you know as a gladiator that's the word i was looking for so they're like in in a specific place where robots have to fight blah blah, blah and the winner gains some money etc etc and she actually needs that money in order to pay for her grandfather's medicine because he's actually very very sick and one day she's gonna go there and she's gonna actually lose so she cannot do anything with her robot anymore he's like wrecked and she's gonna find apparently some other one in the trash and she's gonna find some kind of android named ezekiel and apparently that ezekiel will make her discover some kind of secret and this is a secret about her own life she doesn't know that and that gets interesting from that point and yeah i'm not gonna say more because it it will be spoilery but it's very i will so far it is sci-fi because cyborgs robots technology kind of thing but it's not like sci-fi heavy sci-fi it's still YA. it's very enjoyable it's more focused on the family thing friendship things the law for her dog and now the secrets she's gonna discover so i'm just at that point when i know she's gonna hear the truth about something so that's really interesting i really really love that and i love the writing style so obviously jay christoph is doing an amazing job and i haven't read any other books by him except for illuminate which he co-wrote with amy kaufman if i'm not mistaken but yeah and the reason why i don't have that series here is so the illuminate file series is because i've read them as ebooks yeah that's that's the reason so yeah that's the two books i wanted to show you 
And now I have an unboxing here. I mean, an unboxing. I got a book. And yeah, you're gonna be like, yeah, last month you didn't buy any book. And now you actually bought a few. I actually bought, so I showed you in my previous uh, uh, blog, blog, I got Scar, which is the third book in a series. And now I got another one from an author I actually loved. I got that book, I think it was in a previous uh, free loot box and I really enjoyed it. Oh, I got another Nevermore. Ah, so, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So I got Through the White Wood by Jessica Leek and I actually, where is it? Oh yeah. That's the one I got in my fairy loot, I think Beyond a Darknet Shore. And it was actually, I think a four stars or five stars for me, I don't know. But it was so good and the covers look alike, I want to say like with the bird kind of thing. And this one was more like a uh, North mythology kind of, not retelling, but kind of retelling, you know, with Viking vibes and North mythology vibes, etc. And this one is actually more about Russian folklore. So that's really interesting. And yeah, I love the cover of it. And one of the characters name is Sasha. So yeah. So it says here, Katya's power to freeze anything she touches has made her an outcast in her isolated village. And when she loses control of her ability, accidentally killing several villagers, she is banished to the palace of the terrifying Prince, Prince Alexander in Kiev. At the castle, though, she is surprised to find that Alexander, or Sasha, as he prefers to be called, is just like her, with his own strange talent, the ability to summon fire. Instead of punishment, Sasha offers Katya friendship and the chance to embrace her power rather than to fear it rather fear it rather than fear it oh my gosh i'm inventing words but outside the walls of kiev sasha's enemies have organized their own army of people who can control the very heart hurt sorry bent on taking over the entire world they won't stop until they've destroyed everything katya and sasha are desperate to stop the encroaching encroaching army and together the powers are a fearsome weapon but as the enemies draw nearer leaving destruction in the wake will fire and frost be enough to save the world or will they lose everything they hold dear so i'm super excited about that one like i really loved her writing style in her other book so i got a new one so you know it's like buying books but being a responsible buyer because i bought a third book in a series and i got a book from someone i know that i enjoyed the writing style and the story in the past so yeah that's good i'm gonna put the book next to that one and they look so good next to each other so yeah i'm happy about my purchase <sighs> yeah i think that's all i had to say now um yeah yeah, that's all I had to say, seriously. I'm gonna get back to reading and watch some um, something on Netflix. Probably just listen to something on YouTube or, you know, listen to my playlist kind of thing. And yeah. Ugh. Hello! Yeah. I'm so full of motivation. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not actually. Um, so I wanted to give you a little update and also I have a little unboxing for you. Unboxing. So I'm reading Lifelike and let me check where I am in the audiobook. Okay, so I'm on page 163. So over here, so I've read that and I actually... I haven't read all that I've listened to that and I feel like I should maybe continue reading it and not like listening to it because not a lot of stuff happened but a lot of information about the machinas logicas and you know all the androids etc are like coming at the same time and lots of conversations etc I don't know I just feel that this is a book I should read and not listen to so I will probably continue doing that. I'm almost 
halfway through the book so I'm gonna do that and also the other one uh, the Raven Tower, Tower Tower I haven't read much yesterday I feel like it's getting less and less confusing for me like you have the guy who's talking and saying you and I feel like he's the god and he's explaining you what he's seeing from a god's perspective kind of thing and the main character is actually Eolo who is a human and he's someone's like assistant or helper you know not slave but yeah and I feel like it's getting less and less confusing but still the you kind of thing is really confusing but I'm enjoying it so far but but so many buts but <laughs> I have here a package alchemy and ink so if you know that shop you know that Natalie is doing an amazing job with candles and I mean the packaging like the labels etc so you're gonna see it and you know how difficult it is to get one of her candles like she does uh quarterly uh bookish boxes but more like candles and other stuff in the box and i think that this time she had like 500 boxes she uh was selling like 200 boxes and they went out like in no time and then she added 300 boxes i think and everything like sold out in like two minutes like that was just insane so it is really difficult to get those candles those boxes and also she doesn't like restock frequently like the candles just because she's alone uh dealing with everything like and a lot of people want the candles so yeah so i'm just gonna unbox this one i mean unbox there are two candles in it but i mean i wanted to show you what they look like because they're absolutely amazing so how do i open that Ugh, posting on instagram at the same time but yeah so whoop. oh okay so it looks like this oh this is gorgeous like simple black but i love it but it costs a lot to do that like the paper has her logo kind of thing like label oh my gosh i'm so excited like i've been waiting for them for months like two months i think like that's insane okay so let's pick the first one so i ordered two candles i know which one I ordered, like, obviously, but I don't know which one. Oh, I'm so excited for candles. Like, that's insane. Oh. Oh. oh, my gosh. I got one of her candles. I got the Tommy Shelby. So, yeah. Smells good, like dark stout oak pipe tobacco. Really smells good. It's simple inside, woody kind of thing here, but it's beautiful. Look at the label, it's beautiful, like beautiful. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I got one of her candles. Like, that's just insane. And the other one. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. A serious black one. Oh, it's beautiful. So it smells of leather, fire whiskey and amber. Oh my gosh. My god. They smell so good. I'm so freaking happy. And look at the aesthetics. It's just beautiful. Like it's um, amazing like ah, I'm so happy like seriously I'm so happy I'm so freaking happy I'm so freaking happy like this is absolutely perfect these candles are perfect beautiful beautiful I'm gonna take a picture for bookstagram I prefer like candle wise I prefer or even the rest like fruity smells like sugary smells than floral and etc etc it doesn't mean that i don't like it but it's just like my own preference like my old time 
favorite candle smell is this one, the Poisoner by Fleck the Wick, and it is champagne, grapefruit, pomegranate, and citrus. My favorite candle smell ever. It smells like candies. Like, I really love it. Really love that one. I mean, I love all the candles I have, like all the smells. I don't know where I'm gonna put the candles. That's not fun. These candles, I don't know if I will ever light them because I don't know if I will ever uh, buy more of her candles just because it's really hard to get them. And also, you know, I paid custom fees 40 euros for two candles. And her candles and shipping is already like expensive, worth it maybe, but expensive. And I had to pay 40 euros custom fees to get them and I just feel like I totally understand custom fees and the system and blah 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 and blah 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 but make people pay custom fees for something that's like maybe food or some like medicine or, or whatever just not candles and bookish boxes and books and stuff like that like that's just bullshit and stupid but whatever this is not the point of this update so uh for now what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna eat something because i'm hungry and it's like 7 to 5 pm i just got back from work actually um so i'm gonna eat something relaxed i'm maybe gonna probably gonna read something i don't know which book actually i will be reading maybe this one just to make sure that i understood everything by listening to it i just i don't know i feel like this book i need to read and not to listen to i don't know why that's just me but yeah so i hope you're good and i will update you later or tomorrow wolf bye bye hello wolves. so i didn't update you yesterday or the past few days i actually don't remember but reading wise i finished lifelike by jay christoph i gave it five stars so that book gave me so many different kind of vibes uh the romanov you know anastasia who disappeared uh then jimmy cricket from pinocchio then also some kind of romeo and juliet modern kind of thing and oh my gosh that ending i'm not okay with that ending and i want to read the sequel deviate i think it's gonna be deviate deviate something like that so i'm super 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 excited about that but i wanted to show you a few things so i got i'm gonna show you here i got my acceptance letter to hogwarts this is so freaking exciting and here is um the crest you know hogwarts crest it's beautiful and i got a wand and i got my you've been accepted box so i'm just gonna unbox it with you here just because why not and yeah so let's just open this hopefully i won't destroy it no i will not and I can even display it somewhere. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's like, oh, I'm so excited, so excited. Okay, what's on the first one? Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Uniform. First year students will require one, three sets of plain work robes, black. Two, one plain potted hat, black, for day wear. Three, one pair of protective gloves. Oh my fucking god, sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you can see here everything I would need in order to attend Hogwarts. <gasps> I love it. I'm gonna display it somewhere. This is just amazing. And what is that one? Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Headmaster Albus Dumbledore. Dear Natasha, yeah, that's me. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Please find and close a list of all necessary books and equipment. equipment sorry. Term begins on September 1st. Oh my god. I know it's fake. I know it's fake, but just reading. Dear Natasha. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School. <laughs> so you can see the rest at least. So yeah, oh my gosh, this is just amazing. This is just amazing. This is just amazing. And I'm gonna take 
keep that and put it somewhere and so i got here the box so let's open it looks like this it has normally i think it's only candies so here we have some chocolate frogs tiny little frogs they're not my favorite but as i said when you live in belgium you have like very good chocolates so yeah but they're cute so four little frogs here that's cute i love the packaging so much then oh that's the same that i got in the previous box but it's okay i love them so that's good so empty magical treats and they are actually like um sherbet lemons kind of thing and they're really really good so i would highly recommend them <laughs> And then I got, oh, that's heavy. Magical treats, fever fudge. I got this. Let me try it because I've never tried it. It's okay. It's okay. Here, and then that's it. I'm not very. What's that? <gasps> Wait. I got two one-way tickets, London to Hogwarts. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. I love it. Platform nine and three quarters. I love it. I love it. I love it. So simple, but so beautiful. And that's really it this time. But my favorite is actually the letter, the letter. But we got a wand here. The name of this one is Suburbia Wand. Length. 13 and a half inches core testral tail hair. This is actually perfect and a bunny <gasps> This is the kind of wand. I think I would have got this is beautiful <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so me. This is absolutely black. This is not like too thick as I was saying in other um in another unboxing it's not like cut here it's like thinner and it's round not cut and and here is the raven this is beautiful i'm in love with that wand i'm in love with that wand oh my this is my favorite one like obviously my favorite is Sirius Black's one but oh my no this is perfect this is so me this is so me and it's oh no it's so me it's so me it's so me it's so me oh my gosh I'm in love I'm in love I'm in love with that one Okay, um, I'm gonna stop here because I could watch this one for hours for hours I don't know what to say but yeah I I, I, I oh my gosh and it's perfect in the it's perfect it's perfect I could wear a different all like this or like this and the beak over here it's perfect it's perfect it's perfect this is my new favorite one ever and I don't know how many times I've already said that but I'm gonna stop just because I need to dye my hair so I need to dye my hair so I'm gonna do that and it's already like 8 p.m. just got back from work actually so yeah ah, I'm so happy I'm so happy oh my gosh oh my god I'm so happy and after that I will probably uh, upload a video like I actually edited two videos today so I will upload one today and one tomorrow kind of thing or maybe that's not a good idea yeah i will i will try that and yeah <gasps> i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love oh my gosh okay um i will talk to you a bit later because i need to dye my hair and i've already said that but i'm so excited about that one that okay bye wolves so yes wolves oh my gosh my camera I mean, it's flashing, the battery is gone. Just wanted to let you know that I finished work, so now I'm going home and packing all my stuff, etc. And I just realized that I'm actually wearing the stuff I was planning on wearing during the trip. Because, yeah, 15 hours driving to get there. But I still have time to wash it before tomorrow. We'll see that. But 
I'm gonna leave you now. I just wanted to let you know that because I'm super, 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 super happy. And I just dyed my hair yesterday. I told you that. And this is the result. Looks okay, right? It's slightly different, but I love it. But yeah, it's freaking hot here. Like 23 degrees. But yeah, talk to you later. Hello, wolf. It is Friday night. I just filmed my howling pack announcement video, so that's why I have makeup. So yeah, you can see better my new hair color. Like it, it's it, it's kind of darker with some raspberry tone in it. Yeah, you barely can see it. Never mind. I kind of like it. It's pretty similar to what I had before. I'm not sure if I'm seeing a difference because I want to see a difference. You know what I mean? Like yoga is crazy. But yeah. So I just filmed that video, so I feel stupid because I filmed one video and I kind of want to film another one, but your girl has no time to do so. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to probably eat something because I haven't eaten yet and maybe just relax night and stay with Muni because tomorrow I'm leaving and I don't, I'm going to leave with Muni. This is going to be the first time I'm away from Muni. This is going to be the first time I'm going to sleep without Muni in two years. So that's kind of hard. It can sound stupid to some people. But yeah, I'm pretty sad. You cannot see it now, but I'm super sad actually. But hey, it's only two weeks, right? And at least she's not going to a dock center kind of thing. The hotel, whatever, she's staying here with my family. So that's good. But yeah. I'm sad anyway. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And um, <gasps> I wish I could film just another video, like a very quick one. Okay, I will see if I'm gonna film just a very quick uh, video and then I will um, talk to you later, Wolves. Okay, Wolves, so it's, what time is it? Oof, it's bright. What time is it? Okay, it's 10 p.m. I just finished so filming two videos and taking pictures for Instagram and my room is actually a mess as you can see. Yeah, everything for pictures. So now uh, as a reward, I'm gonna go and walk Mooney because I love my hair. Okay, but uh, yeah, so it's too bright. So we'll do that and stop bubbling here because nonsense and it's quite hot outside but I will need like a tiny little jacket because I want to keep my phone and listen to music. But yeah, so I'm gonna stop playing with my hair and talking nonsense and just go and walk money. Yeah, bye. Okay, well, uh, so I'm gonna try not to cry. Um, yeah, actually failing. Never mind. Um, so I'm packing the stuff to go to Bosnia, and actually, I packed all my clothes, etc. Um, I'm missing my shoes, actually. <laughs> I packed no shoes. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, do that. And also I'm trying to pick the books I'm gonna bring with me. And I already picked the books I need uh, for the Owl's Magical Readathon, but also I picked the book for the Howling Pack. 
um, and also for the time to know book club and I wanted to bring with me one or two more books and I think that's enough because I, I will not read 10 books in two weeks like that's insane and especially because I have audiobooks and I have my ebook I mean my e-reader with me so I don't need more than that but yeah so sorry I just wanted to show you what I picked so I picked Brandon Sanderson because it is actually for my owls owls but I don't know which one uh, Skyward is for astronomy actually and it doesn't fit in any book sleeve I got so that's a bummer but I also picked what did I pick oh yeah I have the Raven Tower I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with it which is actually uh, for the owls read it on but also for the time turner book club oh almost fell on uh, I also picked Come November for the Magical Readathon and here I have the book for the Howling Pack and here I have Viper then I got Scar and another one State, uh, Song of Sorrow so three tiny books in one book sleeve that's cool and I picked that one as well because I'm all in for some Russian vibes. So yeah, I'm actually bringing nine books. I think that's too much. <gasps> what am I gonna do? Never mind. I will try. If they all fit in one bag, I will bring them all. If not, I'm gonna try to see which one to not take. Oh, I'm gonna take that to a bag. Okay, so this one I really need to take with me. This one's gonna go in the car with me, I mean. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna finish getting ready and then um, say goodbye to Mooney and um, yeah, go. Don't get me wrong, I'm super excited to go there, but this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna be separated from Mooney. Like, I'm gonna sleep without money, which is so weird. But yeah, okay. Talk to you later, Wolves. I didn't talk to you I knock out like I was tired because of the road like it took us 14 hours to get here which is actually super good we had no one on the road so it was surprisingly satisfying um, 
yeah so we got here and then we went immediately to visit some family and then we got here i mean at home and we ate and we just slept <laughs> so yeah so i'm just gonna conclude that vlog because i'm gonna start a new one so yeah i'm in bosnia i'm home the weather is hot so that's not good i don't think i took some clips of my city yesterday so i will do that in the new vlog hopefully this vlog will be interesting enough i really don't know what i filmed whatever so i'm staying here for 15 days do you think i have enough books like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there are ten books here like 10 books in two weeks so we'll see how that goes but yeah okay for now i'm gonna wake up make some coffee and try to edit that vlog oh my head i don't care i'm home <laughs> okay well thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this vlog i don't remember what i filmed but hopefully i filmed something interesting enough but yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up as usual please don't forget to subscribe if you want to be a member of the pack and yeah as usual talk to me down below in the comment section tell me about your life tell me about your puppies tell me about your pets tell me about your weather your new clothes anything anything but yeah love you wolves until the next time take care bye